and Ethelred was born into a royal family that had been ruling Wessex, one of the seven kingdoms of the Anglo-Saxon Heptarchy, for several generations. He was one of five sons born to King Ethelwulf. Ethelred was not originally expected to become king, as his older brothers were seen as more likely heirs to the throne. However, when Ethelbert died in 866, Ethelred was thrust into the role of king. The great heathen army, composed of Danish and Norwegian Vikings, landed in East Anglia in 865 and quickly began to ravage the surrounding countryside. The Vikings then turned their attention to other parts of England, including Wessex, and began to capture and settle in various towns and cities. Ethelred married Wulfrith. Ethelred's marriage to Wulfrith was a fruitful one, as they had two children. However, upon his death they were passed over for the kingship, as they were still infants. Ethelred's reign was marked by frequent Viking attacks on Wessex and other parts of England. In 871, the Vikings launched a major invasion of Wessex, which led to the Battle of Ashdown. At the Battle of Ashdown, Ethelred and his younger brother Alfred were able to defeat the Vikings and push them back. However, Ethelred was later defeated by the Vikings at the Battle of Basing, which led to increased Viking control over parts of Wessex. Ethelred was a devout Christian and was known for his piety. He founded several monasteries during his reign, including one at Abingdon. He was a patron of St. Dunstan, who was the Archbishop of Canterbury at the time. St. Dunstan was an important figure in the church and played a key role in promoting monasticism and church reform in England. This helped to spread Christianity and literacy throughout Wessex and other parts of England. Ethelred was a patron of the arts and supported the translation of several religious texts into Old English. Ethelred was the first king of Wessex to issue a coinage with his own name and portrait. This was an important development in the history of English coinage, as it helped to establish the king's authority and legitimacy. Ethelred's reign was an important period in the process of unifying the various Anglo-Saxon kingdoms into a single kingdom of England. Ethelred recognized the importance of the navy in defending England against Viking attacks and was involved in the establishment of the English navy during his reign. This was an important development in English military history and helped to establish England as a naval power in later years. Ethelred was known for his generosity and was known to give generously to the poor and needy. This was an important aspect of his reign and helped to endear him to his people. Ethelred recognized the importance of fortifications in defending against Viking attacks and oversaw the construction of several fortified towns and cities during his reign. These included towns such as Wareham and Exeter. Ethelred's reign was marked by several rebellions, both from within his own family and from his subjects. These rebellions were often motivated by concerns about the king's ability to defend the kingdom against Viking attacks. Ethelred was supported by his younger brother, Alfred, who played an important role in defending Wessex against Viking attacks. Alfred would later become one of the most famous kings in English history and is known as Alfred the Great. Ethelred's reign saw the development of the Burr system. The Burr system was a system of fortified towns and cities that were established throughout Wessex and other parts of England during Ethelred's reign. These Burrs were an important development in English military history and played a key role in defending England against Viking attacks. Ethelred died in 871, at the age of 28. He sustained serious injuries in battle against the Viking invaders. Ethelred's reign was a short one, he was succeeded by his younger brother, Alfred, eventually known as Alfred the Great. Ethelred was buried at Wimborne Minster in Dorset, which was one of the monasteries that he had founded during his reign. However, the whereabouts of his tomb, within the Minster are not known. Ethelred's reign was a turbulent period in English history, marked by frequent Viking attacks and internal conflicts. However, his reign laid the groundwork for the establishment of a single, unified Kingdom of England, which would be achieved under his younger brother, Alfred.